Today we will go over how to correctly remove a credential from a user in the Engage software with the Notor functionality so that you can reuse that credential for someone else. In the web portal, find the user that you want to remove this credential from. And as you can see, this credential has five doors assigned. Now, when you click Assign Access, you will see that because we have five doors associated to this user, we are using five sectors. If you do not delete the credential correctly, you will block these sectors and you will not be able to use those sectors again. So at that point, you can only have 11 doors assigned to the user. So to delete it correctly, we are going to come in here and we are going to change the expiration date on all of these uh, doors to today's date. And there's one. I'm going to copy and paste to the others. And then I am going to click Save. Now, once we save, you will see that there is an update button next to the credential. So at that point, we are going to take that credential and we have to update it using the MT20W. And as you can see, my MT20W has a solid blue. So it is communicating to either the Wi-Fi or the USB option that you have selected. And I'm going to click update and I will place the fob on the MT20W. Leave it there until I get the three green LEDs. I will now remove the fob and click next and finish. Now I have successfully updated the fob and as you can see, we still have the, uh, the doors listed there. And tomorrow we will come in and we will take a look and you will see that the doors will have been will have disappeared and the um, the sectors will be emptied so then you can reuse it. It is the next day we log in into our engage software. We click on the user that we expired the credentials for. And as you can see, his credential number is there, but there are no more access rights assigned to any doors. And if I click on assign access, as you can see, all of the sectors have been cleared. So all we need to do is click on the credential, delete this credential, and then type in the word delete and delete again. Now that credential has been deleted. You can put it back into your stock of new credentials and reuse it as needed. Thank you for watching. I hope you will find this video useful.